get this and to do class. Right. So even though it's not spelt right, we'll just continue. And there's so it's got a new tab with a new class to add code to it. So I'll take that I'll leave that there so you can see it. So that's what we're going to do with the program. What have I done here? And so that's what we're going to do with the program. So now we're going to add tabs. I'm going to give that a name as well. And so where we've got add, um, it's this one here. So where we've got add, tab add, pane 2, we can have the, the constructor. There's many different constructors we've covered in past tutorials where it's like um, polymorphism, you can have one method, one constructor, um, which has, you have many different constructors with the same name, one name, but they pass different arguments, and each one will do a different job, depending on the arguments passed. Well, this one here, you can pass it a string first, file, file, and semicolon to separate them, and this will be the name of the tab. So file, and so we can have file 1, file 2, file 3, or we can have the name, what we choose to call the class, um, will be the name of this tab. And let's see what else. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to do the same as the clip, so we click, we click a button and we'll get a new tab appear which will be a file we're not going to have a pop-up menu we could do that it'd take longer to do it and um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use one of these buttons in the toolbar so we'll use the second one so what we're going to do is use this in the action listener and so we've, we've got the first one where we just print up charles every time we click it charles and so we're going to use this one even though it's not the symbol for it, to create a class or to create another tab and it will have these two text areas inside it and as many times as we click it we'll create a new tab and so that's what we're going to do so we need the action listener we need to attach the action listener to this button and then inside the code for the, the action performed we'll put the code to create a new tab and let's see, so what we'll, what we'll need to do is go to the buttons and so um, we're going to do the exact same as this one here and so we're going to, this is initialised and declared inside main but we want to use it in the action performed method outside main so it's got to be global and so we're going to take this away here and so we need to go back up to the top where we've declared um, the button, if we can find it, to the here. All we need to do is just copy this and um, this is JB12. So that's us declared that we're going to use it and we've already initialised it down there. JB12 and we also need to add the action listener to it. And so it's jb12 dot add action listener and it's going to be f because that's the name of this class and so that's us added the action listener so we'll go down to the method action, action performed and this is where we've got the system printing out Charles I'm going to just copy that for speed an if statement and it's jb12 GB12. So what if it's inside here? I'll put YouTube in here. So what if it's inside here? We will save when we click that button. Um, that's what will appear. YouTube, YouTube, and click this one. Charles appears. Okay. So that's action listener. So what if a code we put inside this if, if statement is going to be executed? And so what we're going to do now? We're going to put the code to create tabs. 
and it's going to be the same as before. I'll take away I'll take away YouTube and it's the tab command dot add component. And it's this one here. And the component we're going to add is going to be pants dot and the constructor. That's a constructor. You can see the brackets. That's a constructor. And so now when we click that button, we should have a new um, tab with the text areas inside it. So we save and run the program. And when we click this button, there you go, a new one, a new one, and a new one. And to prove it, this is separate from type anything that's a Dutch word for I think it's went <laughs> it's just remembered <laughs> I think I'm not too sure I think they call it anyway right and so this one is different and okay and so just to show you that these are all separate and so we can give names to these. That's us done our tabs um, for this program. Just like you've got, and we click that button, That's you would say that was the class button to create a new class. And it's the same as this here. We can have it. We can actually use the same fancy style as what Eclipse is using, but we don't want to do too much all at one time. And so we can do everything that you see here. That's the truth of the matter. And so what I'm going to do now is we've added what we're going to do is add the string just like before and it's going to be file and it's going to be right file will appear what I want to do is I want to do number yeah number increment right what this is going to do this is going to add one to number but we've not created number yet and we want it to be global and so we're going to the top and we're going to public um, it doesn't need to be static because we're not using it in main so we can just go int number and we'll go equal zero well we are going to use it in we are going to use it in main for the first one so static semicolon we're going to start at zero no we're going to start at one and what we're going to do is we'll go back down to here and um, when we've done tab add what we're going to do is a plus sign and we're going to do number so this is going to add the number and we'll put a space in here to the file so it's going to be file number uh, number one and when it comes down to here when we click the button it's going to increment the number what it is and then we're going to add it here plus number and save the program run and so you've got file one click it again file two click it again file three click it again file four click it again file five and each one of these is a different file and it's the same as up here so we've got different files and different code so that's um, Jaffa um, JTAB pain uh, method for doing tabs and again thank you for your time and I hope that's been helpful if it's helped at least one person then I'm going to be happy because that's what this is all about. So thank you.